Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to the fourth match day vlog of the 2018-19 Premier League season. Three wins from three so far. It's Leicester away today. Probably the toughest of the four fixtures we've had. They've got six points out of nine available. They're a good side. They are without Jamie Vardy today. But yeah, I am a big fan of their squad. It's never going to be easy there. I remember last season, I went there twice in a week. I think we lost there 2-0 in the League Cup and then won there 3-2 in the league when Coutinho in particular was really, really good. So let's hope for a similar result today with the boys we're going to have on the pitch. I'm thinking maybe it doesn't change 11. If there is going to be a change, I'm thinking Jordan Henderson. But let's wait and see. Um, buzzing to get there. It's only an hour train. So um, up the Reds. So I'm in Leicester now in the car park um, near the Morrisons near the stadium. One change for Liverpool is Jordan Henderson for Naby Keita. Um, doesn't surprise me hugely. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, obviously Leicester are going to maybe give it a go. We want to be a bit more solid in the midfield. Keita did drop off a little bit, I thought, against um, Brighton slightly. Henderson has been playing well when he's come on. So um, there was rumours earlier about um, Salah being injured. Not true. Salah plays. So yeah, that's the 11. Into these. So 2-0 then, Bobby and Sadio, um, great for the first 20 minutes, um, momentum switched a bit towards the second half of the first half, um, they had a bit of belief, the intensity and the belief in their press was there to see, they could have gone for 20 minutes and then they, they really picked it up Leicester, we got a bit sloppy, Bobby hasn't actually played that well but he gets the goal with the header, 2-0, should be home and dry but yeah, haven't been great but doing enough. So just coming out of the King Power, 2-1 in the end for Liverpool. Uh, we were comfortable early on, 
Um, allowed Leicester back into it in the first half. Lucky to get the goal. Well, not lucky, but you know we managed to get the goal on the stroke of half time. And then second half, it's, it's an Allison mistake. It's it's one that is going to happen when when you play that when you take that many risks. Um, but still, there's no excuse for it. It's a shocking mistake, and it almost cost us two points. But we do hang on. We probably should make it three, but we don't. But it's three points, and we're top of the league. Back at King's Cross Station already, half four. Going to be in for the City game. Watch them win about 8-0. A lovely evening in the store. Sam, I just lost 1-0. I find myself walking amongst them. Never walked among a more disgruntled set of football fans in my life than these West Ham fans. They seem to think they're getting relegated. And uh, for the one they'll defeat against the Wolves, I don't blame them. <laughs> Stinks of weed around here as well. So back home, watching Man City on TV, 10 minutes in, already 1 0 up. So we, I think we know how this game's going to go. Um, obviously, by the time this vlog's up, um, well, by the time you see it, you will know the result. I imagine it's probably about 4-1 to Man City. Um, Chelsea won today, 2-0 against Bournemouth. Two late goals, Pedro and Hazard, was it? Um, so we stay top on goal difference ahead of Chelsea. Um, Watford and Spurs play each other tomorrow. So if one of them um, wins well, then one of them can go top. But we are top for the time being. We have conceded today. We were poor today. We were poor. Um, what did you guys think? I mean, leave a comment with your thoughts. Your man of the match. I mean, for me, it was clearly Joe Gomez because everyone else was off the pace, really. I mean, um, I thought Robertson played well. Um, maybe one of his better games this season, actually. Excuse me. Um, but Trent, Trent struggled um, on the ball. Van Dijk was slicing his clearances. His passing wasn't as good as his usual self. He was making a couple of sloppy fouls, you know, late, late into tackles. Just not, I mean, still, still, I mean, look, I would never, wouldn't stop him for anybody, but, um, yeah, it wasn't his best day. Joe Gomez was the best defender on the pitch. Um, Allison, you know, what can you really say about that mistake? It's just a brain fart. It's a, it's a wrong decision. And I'd, I'd rather him be making mistakes like that than one where it's a completely, it's completely down to bad technique. Um, you know, of, of Karius's mistakes in the Champions League final, the, the, the one from Bale for me is worse than the Benzema one because, um, as City come forward again, because uh, it's, te it's pure technique. Uh, he, he didn't know how to catch the ball, he didn't know how to palm it over. The first one, he shouldn't have done. You know, let's not get into that again. But it comes under that category for Alisson. He's, he's trying to do too much. He's in it, and it's a, it's a kick up the arse. You, don't, you, you can do it, there's a time and a place for it, but, you know, you can easily kick it out for a throw in. And yeah, he, he does that. And we win the game anyway. It's a, it's a slap on the wrist. It, he'll, get the, he'll get the treatment from Klopp. Um, people blaming Henderson for that goal. I mean, if we're going to apportion any blame to anyone other than Alisson, obviously the, pa the pass isn't great from Van Dijk. But, um, sorry, Aguero, as, as far as Henderson passing it to Gomez and Van Dijk's concerned, it's all in a very tight space. The passes weren't perfect, but come on. I think, you know, that's very agenda-driven. Would, would we have had that coverage if it was Gini Van Alden, who himself was quite anonymous today, unfortunately. He's had a great start to the season, but I thought he was nowhere to be seen. And, and, and it was his giving the ball away um, on about 20 minutes. We were so comfortable in that game. And I, I thought we were on our, way, on our way to a really comfortable win. Leicester couldn't be bothered. Um, they weren't even pressing with that much intensity. It was very comfortable for us. We looked in cruise control. Adam gave it away on the halfway line, and they were sort of two on two. Alisson makes a good save. Um, and from then, they get a bit more belief, and they come into the game a bit more. Obviously, we end up going 2 nil up anyway, so it matters not. Um, but yeah, that was just one of a few things Adam did wrong today. James Milner didn't have his best game. Um, but I guess of the midfield three, he was probably just the best with a seven out of ten. We just weren't as good in midfield. Um, you know, personnel is obviously different. Naby Keita wasn't in there. Um, so I guess it's down to the, the coaching team to kind of look at that and see how we can avoid these sort of situations against Spurs. The front three were dreadful. 
I have to say, I thought Mane was the best of them. Salah was, his decision making was poor. Um, he misses a sitter in the first half after the shot from Firmino saved. I thought Firmino was the worst of the three. I really do um, think he he was so slow in possession, afraid to release the ball, um, taking an extra two or three seconds than he normally does. Um, so that was frustrating, but. I'm not going to sit here and complain about that. I'm not going to complain about anything because we've gone to Leicester, one of those away games outside of the top six where you are concerned as you go into it. Palace, I'd have as one of them as well. There's a few of them, um, and Leicester is very much one of them. And we've gone there and got an important three points, and we're still top, and we still haven't dropped a single point this season. So let's be delighted about that. Leave your thoughts. Um, on the, on, the, on the subs, I'll say as well, they were the right subs at the right time. Shakiri was excellent when he came on, held the ball really well, dribbled past defenders, showed pace, showed cleverness, keeping the ball. Um, so, yeah, I was pleased with that and think Cater came on at the right time as well. So let me know your thoughts. I know, I know you know, imagine a lot of you are going to be moaning about Jordan Henderson, maybe Fabinho now as well. And, you know, Fabinho's had enough time in the, in, in the, in the squad now to be able to come into the side. So... Let's see what happens after the international break. But for now, let's celebrate being top of the league. Let's celebrate another win today. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you are new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say on all of those platforms. And I'll see you next time up the top of the league, Reds.